we we realized a few years ago, five years ago, we had to make we had to make some kind of change in our business, some kind of difference, because we I'd seen the I'd seen the advantages of stretch and leveling, and realized we needed to make a change. So I went and did a couple of site visits in America, found the right equipment, found the right suppliers, engaged with a lot of um, um, processes in America took advice from them and realized that this was the way of the future for especially for, for uh, leveling of steel and the quality that is required as more and more impetus is going on to laser quality and stuff. So we realized the investment had to be made to make a difference. We've seen a huge, a huge, uh, the huge benefits of this and, and, and the challenges have, have really uh, expressed that. So I'm very, very pleased with what, where we've got to so far and hence the second level has come in now, the second stretcher, to enable us to sort of, to operate on the balls of our feet and to allow our customers to see the benefits of not letting them down. Sometimes we have issues with, you know, you can have a breakdown um, and, and getting around things like that, we've done that. So the benefits have been huge. Um, so yeah, we're, we're very positive going forward. A couple of years back, this whole belt, which is the Merton belt, had no industry at all. Then BSI, Heineken, Krebchen, and we came along over here. We typically make sure that the people who are hired over here in this company come from the region, from, come from the community. We do a lot of learnerships over here. Uh, five years back, we, we made a decision that things are gonna be bad, and when things are bad, we will eat little, but we'll eat together. We haven't retrenched anybody in this company. Uh, there's been natural uh, retrenchments which have happened with people leaving and going. We've added on 74 jobs, and since 2012, we've added 250 jobs. Uh, we also support a few schools in the community over here, especially the blind school. Uh, and there's a couple of schools, especially they don't have sports gears and things like that. So typically amount of 50 to 100,000 every year per school is what we give and then we go and monitor and see whether it's been used in the proper manner or not.